Hi, I'm Gloria Pearson. I'm a certified life coach. This video today is on changing your story by changing your thoughts. And we all have stories about our life and probably most of them are not true. But you can change those stories going forward no matter what the stories were in your past. And I'm going to go over three different techniques for you to try today. Very simple things so you can change your stories, change your life by changing those thoughts. I'm so grateful you're watching this video. I am super grateful for all my subscribers and anyone watching the video. And if you enjoy my videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. But let's go ahead and get started. So we all have stories in our life and some of them may be true, but just the stories of the past, you may have had some losses, maybe financial loss, divorce, relationship loss, job loss, but that doesn't have to define your stories going forward. Now it will help define who you are and maybe there were lessons you had to learn from those losses. But just because you had those losses in the past doesn't mean you have to carry them forward in the future. And you could change the story by changing your thoughts. And I'm going to go over three different ways to do that because we are constantly evolving as souls, as people. If you look out your window today and you may notice the clouds and what season it is, if you look out the window tomorrow, it's going to be different. Change is inevitable. It could be when you look out the window, the sun is coming different. Maybe it's the leaves are falling. Maybe there's snow. Maybe you see a bird, but it is constantly changing. And that is just how we are. And you can control how you go forward by changing your thoughts and having a different story. Maybe you did have that job loss in the past. That doesn't mean you're not going to get the greatest job going forward. Rewrite your stories. Leave the past in the past, learn from it, grow from it, but change it going forward. And then we'll go over three ways. The first one is um, by Dr. Kelly Brogan, and it's called the 17 second rule. And what she says is when you have that negative thought that, oh my gosh, I had that job loss, I had that financial loss, and it's just going to keep going, and that's just the way my life is. Replace it with a positive thought immediately because that positive thought will attract another positive thought will attract another positive outcome because you're raising your vibration and you will attract more positive things in your life so i want us to try this right now because i want you to get a sense of what 17 seconds is so think of something maybe not pleasant but change it how about i am inescapable prosperity i am inescapable prosperity and just keep repeating that now when you do this you can either do it um, just in your mind mentally you could say it out loud or you can write it whatever is most effective for you okay but i'm gonna start timing it so start saying that positive thought over and over and over for 17 seconds And that's it, 17 seconds. That's it, it did it, and that was quick. But that gives you a sense of timing. Keep it for 17 seconds, because that's how you will then start attracting more. So that's the first one. The second, and it's another one of hers, is the 17 second emotional fireworks. So maybe something really great happened to you today. Maybe not even that great, but just something you're excited about. It gives you joy, it elates you. And we tend to just eh, put them off some time. Well, spend 17 seconds with that feeling of emotional firework, that feeling of joy. Because again, you're gonna raise your vibration and you're going to attract more joy. So think about that. Now you know what the 17 seconds is. You can set your clock or just count, uh, watch a clock and Keep that emotional fireworks for 17 seconds to raise your vibration. And then the third one is finding joy. 
finding joy. And again, this will help you change that story going forward because you're going to remember what brought you joy in the past. So many times we tend to remember or dwell on maybe some negative things. Like I said, some things of loss. And we don't spend enough time remembering the joy, remembering the positive things that we have in our life. And again, this goes with vibrations to change your vibration and raise it. So with this exercise, I want you to find a quiet place to sit and take several deep breaths in and out, in and out to kind of center yourself in the room. And then I want you to think of something that brought you great joy. What was it? The birth of a child, a, a new job, a romance. What brought you some great joy? Maybe a place you visited or traveled to. It doesn't have to be extravagant. Maybe just a, one day you were in the park and it was just such a perfect day. So when you remember it, completely immerse yourself like you are reliving it right now. Remembering how you feel. Who was with you? Were there any smells that you felt in the air? What were you doing? What were you wearing? Who did you share this joy with? And spend about two minutes, two minutes finding this joy. Because this will help you remember the good times, the, the emotional fireworks, not just the times of negativity or loss. So if you practice these three things, you will rewrite your story going forward by changing those thoughts. And again, if you enjoy my videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm filled with such gratitude that you're watching this and I'm sending you lots of love and light.